Hi guys, Pearls and Paseco here, and I have hopefully the last of this humongous Goodwill 15 pound um, Shop Goodwill bag. So I bought this bag uh, like a week ago, and I paid $25 for it, which I was so impressed that um, nobody was bidding on it because basically I haven't been able to buy anything from Shop Goodwill lately from all of the bidding. So. 25 bucks 15 pounds and so far we have found tons and tons of treasures like this ring that I just pulled out that's all beaded it's got black and gray and clear and it's all beaded so it will stretch to fit your finger so this kind of stuff is not something I can make a huge profit on so this goes into a craft box which is on the floor next to me Craft lots are things that are wearable, they're sellable, they could be fixable, <clears throat> but they're things that I am not going to sell. I usually sell them by the pound on Macari. So if you're interested, you can look on Macari. I list them when I have a few available. The rest of this pile is all earrings that we are looking for the matches. And I'm going to move them over to the side because I still have this stuff to go through from this humongous Goodwill bag. So I'm going to dump this out. Now, this bag, we have noticed there are tons of duplicate items in this bag. We have noticed lots and lots of duplicates. So let's see if we find any other duplicates. Ooh, now that is pretty. It's like peacocks. And the stretch... I think the stretch is okay. That's really, really pretty. Oh, I always am worried when I sell stretch items. But he looks pretty good. So I'm going to stick him over in my sell pile, which is humongous at this moment. <clears throat> Alright, these beads, if you were on the last video, these beads, uh-oh, there we go. These beads are off of a necklace that exploded in the bag, and they are vintage, so they are going in my craft box. I'm going to just move any earrings over real quick. We'll look at the big pieces, and then we'll come back and find earrings. Because I think my battery's going to die, and at least we'll be through the big pieces. Alright, so this is a pretty cool piece. I'm pretty sure that these are plastic, but they are nice plastic. They are made to look like all different kinds of jasper, maybe. Pretty, pretty colors, pretty neutral colors. And it's a longer piece. So these kinds I have a hard time with because I don't know if people are gonna really buy them or not. I'm just gonna put him over to the side for now. I'll have to think about. And this is a leather bracelet that has seen better days, but it is the pink ribbon. So he's going to go in a craft lot, although hopefully someone can think of something amazing to do with that charm. Another bangle. We've had a lot of them, but this one is plastic and faux leather with a seam. I don't have a lot of luck with these guys, so he's going to go in my craft lot. Some more earrings. All right, oh, this is an interesting pendant. It's made to look almost like pink quartz. Um, eh, I don't think, I think he's like a fabricated bead that's been put in there and flattened, but he's kind of cute. Ah, and this is a bracelet that looks very similar to one of the necklaces that I had in another one of the videos. So I'm gonna put him over to the side because he can go with that um, necklace. So is this a necklace or is this a bracelet that you like wrap around your arm a million times? Let's see. It looks like someone has wrapped it many times. Look, I kind of like these bracelets. I don't know how well they sell. Probably going to put it in the craft pile. 
but he's in pretty good shape. Oh, except I can't get him off. He's in pretty good shape, but he's gonna go in the craft pile. Earrings, earrings, earrings. We've had a lot of these stretch bead bracelets. This is an interesting bracelet. Let's see if we can get some of these earrings off. Stuck in there. All right, so he's linked, he's stretch, he's a linked bracelet. He's gold tone with this huge, he's plastic but he looks kind of jadish. So he's pretty neat. Although up close, you can see the strands that are holding it together. They're green. So if that doesn't bother you, he's a pretty cool little bracelet. I might just wear him the rest of the time. All right, we had this bracelet earlier in yellow, and I just really liked it because this just screams retro to me. So. I'm probably gonna try to sell him. Whether he sells or not, I don't know. And this is just a wood bead. And he's got a cross on him. And does he look familiar to anybody? I don't know. He is gonna go in a craft lot. And here's a pretty green stretch. Feels like the stretch is about gone in him. Yeah, he's hanging on my wrist. It's about gone. But someone could easily restring him. And let's see, this, I swear, I think this was a jewelry store or something, or a, maybe a, a um, consignment shop or something. There's a lot of multiples. So this is the third bracelet that we've had like this. But real, I'm afraid that the, the stretch is going to break on these. So these are going to go in craft. So we have had this bracelet already. We've had two of these. And he's in pretty good shape. One was not in good shape, but that one looks like it is. And let's see, we got another one of these guys. And we were talking about, do these sell? I don't know. Is it worth trying to sell them? I don't know. I'm gonna put them in the craft pile for now. And now we've got these huge pearl earrings. They're huge. They're also kind of gross. So I'm gonna put them in, um, oh, I like this. I'm gonna put those in the craft. Now this, we saw the necklace for this one. So it's the little rice pearls and the necklace has the same kind of closure on it it's this green stone kind of jadish and let's see if there's a there's the clasp to open it no maker's mark but they are definitely a set so I like to sell things as a set if they go together so we have had these earrings before we had them in black we had them in blue and now we have them in Pink. And let's see, we got some more bangles. They're just plasticky bangles. So those are going in the craft lot. This is a ring. It says Sihan 1994-02012. Huh. It's a size seven. Oh, and it's a mood ring. This was a uh, trinket from somebody's trip. I don't know what Sea Hunt is. S-E-H-U-N. Maybe you guys have heard of it. And let's see. Ooh, I like this ring. Look at that. How pretty is that? It's almost, it's set almost like Mother of Pearl, but there's metal in between each section. It's not marked anything, but it's actually, it's very pretty. I might not take it off. Oh, look, here are the earrings that go with the pendant that we found. We just need a chain, so those go together. And let's see, oh, these earrings go together. They're gonna go in a craft lot. I don't see selling those. These earrings go together. 
I wonder if I could just sell a bunch of like plastic vintage earrings. You think someone would buy those plastic vintage earrings? I don't know. Leave me a comment if that's something you're interested in. So these are hoops. They're gold and they are wrapped in a brown thread. They're kind of interesting. Let's see what else we can pull out of here. Let's see. Oh, this is pretty. It's a very dainty. Oh, it's missing a stone. It's a very dainty little ne uh, bracelet. It's missing a stone, but look how dainty that is. They're like fabricated cat's eye. It's, it's missing the stained stone. <laughs> very pretty. It will probably go in the craft. And let's see, I know I have seen this earring. I know I'm talking fast. I want to try to get through this because, you know, I think I've been doing this for a while now. Uh-oh, a bead just went flying. I know I have seen this earring. And somewhere on this table is this other earring. So, I will find him. Ooh, these are neat. Look at that. All the different um, gemstones. That's pretty. Probably won't find the other one of that. There's just a little pearl stud. And another little pearl, like a triangle. Oh, and here's the other pearl triangle. Those are pretty neat. I really like, ooh, I really like these. I feel like they should be Mark Trafari. Uh-oh, hold up. They are not Mart Trafari. They are Christian Dior. Why do you like that? The winners of the box, as long as they are not fakes. Christian Dior earrings. I'm going to put those somewhere special. All right, then we've got these cute little roses with glitter. Those are gonna go in the crafts. Honestly, most of these are gonna end up in crafts. And then here's little roses again. These are little blue roses. They're gonna go in the craft. I thought this one was neat. A lot of peacocky type jewelry here. No name. And it actually looks like both of these had another piece hanging off the bottom that got misplaced or cut off. So these are going to go in craft. And let's see. This neck, this bracelet was hiding. He's very pretty. He's like a Pandora style. Look, he's got a pretty nice little closure on him. Obviously, he's not a real Pandora. But these are really pretty. Got these... Um, the little flower beads and little uh, rhinestones and pearls. He's really pretty. I like him. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else? Oh, here's another pair of these guys. I think those are pretty. Oh, look at these. I am definitely going to do like an 80s theme earring collection. How can I not? 80s earrings. All right, here's some some big mamma jammas. Oh. Here we go. All right, so here's the big chandelier. And I just had the other one. Here he is. So they're purple. How about those? I see somebody wearing those in a Halloween costume, maybe. These I've been fascinated with, how shiny they are. And guys, I'm just gonna go until the camera dies. I'm just gonna keep on going, so those are pretty. So if the camera dies, just know that I'm saying goodbye. <laughs> These are pretty. They're plastic, little purple plastic hoops. 
Let's see. I have so many of these earrings. This has got to be at least 10 pairs, if not a ton more in this bag of these exact earrings. So someone could open a store with those. Oh, there's another one. Now these are interesting. This is a stone of some kind and I know I saw the other one also. Yes. So these I'm going to have to research Ooh, a little bit. They are tarnished. So they are more than likely silver. They look like a stone and they are clip on or you can pull the clip down and you can pull out the post and you can make them pierced earrings. It's like convertible earrings maybe. Those are really cool. So those I'm gonna put over by themselves. Also, there's the other pearl. Oh, let's see. These are pretty. Little blue, they're plastic, little blue stones. I am so making an 80s pile here. Look at these chandeliers. Maybe I could make a chandelier pile too. Aren't those pretty? They're shiny, they're pretty heavy too. Let's see, all my little piles. <laughs> Look, there's a pink one and a blue one. Pink and a blue. And a hoop I'm gonna get rid of. And here's the other square. Now I will tell you if you are buying jewelry to sell, here we go. These are kind of cool because they have different colored stones in it. Be careful, you know, I might even go back through my craft boxes a lot. Be careful and make sure that you aren't crafting a precious metal by accident. Sometimes it's hard to find the markings, especially when you're moving quickly. So here's some more little sequined earrings. I don't do sequined earrings. Let's see, we can get him. And here's some more little roses. They're kind of cute. They'll make something cool. And little drops, let's see. So he's got three colors of blue. Can you see that? These are cute. I like blue, obviously. So those are cute. I like this. And I'm trying to see if there's anything. These I liked. I don't think they're anything but just little costume jewelry pieces, but I really liked the stone in the middle, the silver with the little stone. And the rest, I'm trying to see if there's anything that's like, oh, there's a purple pair. I like the purple even better than the blue. See how many like doubles were in this bag? I swear this was like a store that went out of business or something. And let's see, here is a, a simple little pendant that's silver with a black stone in it. And then here's another pendant. That's pretty, look at that. Let's see, it's got a maker on the back. Not one that I recognize. To look at him a little closer. I'm trying to see if there's anything in here. I wish I could find that one. Look at this. There's only one of this guy, but how cute is he? He's almost like an upside down tulip. Oh, 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 I found the other one. Look how cute those are. They are so, so, so cute. I love those. All right. Is there anything else in here that's worth showing that's not a duplicate? I think everything else is all. Oh, I wish I found the other one. Look at this owl. How cute is he? 
how stinking cute is he? I know I didn't pull out another owl, unfortunately. So let me make sure. But he would make the cutest little pendant on a silver chain, wouldn't he? He'd be so cute on a little silver chain. I think, oh, these little snowflakes. Cute little snowflakes with pearls all over them. And I think that's it. I think the rest of these are, oh, we got these guys look really pretty little drops I know I keep saying I think that's it uh, but I really think that's it now so I hope you enjoy oh my gosh I wish oh, 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 oh I found the other owl oh my god I'm gonna have to search in that box to find the owl <laughs> it's gonna take me a while to search but I found the other owl and these are so cute. It's a star with a metal star underneath it. And then there's a little piece that has a little pearl on it. So those are really cute. Okay. Bunches of pearl studs. And these are the kind, let's see, it's got a drop. A little pearl drop both of them and let's see that's gonna go to craft those are gonna go to craft 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 oh this is fossil let's see if we can find oh there's the other fossil one so it's almost like a little branch with a little denim blue little piece and some more there's just so many of these little um little pearls i mean i honestly i could pair up a bunch of these earrings but they're just not gonna sell which is partly why they're here in this box. So I think that is probably what I have. I think the rest of this is going to be for the um, craft box. So I hope you enjoyed this huge <laughs> Goodwill haul. And hopefully with results like this, we can get some more Goodwill hauls in the future. So I appreciate you stopping by and I will see you later. Bye.